Hello, uh, welcome to today's class. So today's class will be uh, introduction to the subject and we would like to start with what is the structure of a computer. So if I ask you what is a computer, many of you would answer that this is a computer. But if we try to look inside this box, uh, we will see some printed circuit boards. So these piece printed circuit boards are the green colored or the blue colored or red colored boards that we find inside the box. So among other things you will find these printed circuit boards and of course we will find the power supply also. Uh, on Among the different printed circuit boards that are present one of them is called the motherboard and if we look what is there in a motherboard we will find different components we will find integrated circuits uh, these are the black colored objects which have some pins uh, the external environment interface with what is there inside the integrated circuit through these pins so in the motherboard we will find integrated circuits we will also find some slots uh, for other printed circuit boards to be put so for example we can put a graphics card or a sound card or an ethernet card so there will be slots for other printed circuit boards and there will be uh, components like resistors and capacitors um, in case of a computer one of the uh, integrated circuit you will find is the microprocessor chip doesn't matter whether it is a i7 or a i5 or a i3 or maybe even a pentium chip but there would be there will be a microprocessor chip and there will be some amount of ram now if we want to further look inside this integrated circuit to see what is present there uh, we will see some sub circuits inside the integrated circuit if we take uh, the microprocessor chip as an example some of the different sub circuits that you will find inside it are the arithmetic and logic unit that's the alu and maybe some sub circuits to store data which are the resistors and some sub circuits to control the operation of the computer which is your control unit now if we further look inside these sub circuits what they look like uh, they are nothing but some uh, logic circuit which is built using logic gates so here we see a logic circuit com comprising of two AND gates one OR gate two NAND gate and a flip flop uh, so the logic gates are used as the basic as the fundamental building blocks of digital circuits so this is how a sub circuit may look like this is how a sub circuit may look like um, if we uh, try to look further inside the logic gate how it looks like uh, we'll see that it's nothing but transistor circuit for example this NAND gate is made up of four transistors each of them is a transistor here um, so the NAND gate is made up of four transistors in this case we have two PMOS transistors in parallel and two NMOS transistors in series so if we connect the transistors in this way and the behavior that we get from the circuit is that behavior of a NAND gate, the NAND logic function. So, um, so in so so a logic gate is made up of transistors, uh, and we know how transistors work. Uh, here is a diagram showing uh, depicting a transistor. So we have a base, the collector and emitter and based on what the voltage we apply to the base there may be a flow of current between the collector and emitter. 
so either there will be flow of current or current won't be flowing that depends on what voltage we apply at the base so this behavior is nothing but the behavior of a switch just like we have manual switch to turn off light or fan uh, similarly uh, this transistor also behaves like a switch which will be either be in the on state or the off state based on what voltage is applied at the base uh, transistors were first invented in 1947 by John Burdine, uh, Walter Bretain and William Shockley uh, at the Bell Labs and uh, they got the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1956 for this invention. So in our course, uh, in our course uh, if we go back to the diagram, uh, we will not talk much about transistors uh, module 5 however uh, however we'll talk a little bit on transistors and the module 5 of the syllabus is uh, is will be about uh, on that topic whereas most of our uh, discussions will be at this level so if you understand uh, the, uh, the hierarchy that I have presented in that hierarchy you will try to study computers at this level at the level of the logic gates and little bit of uh, the transistor circuits uh, most of the, our discussion will be at this level uh, about sub circuits in a chip and that you will study next semester in the computer organization and architecture uh, course where you will study about arithmetic logic unit control unit the resistors and that subject will also talk about the other components like a memory uh, so that is about your um, subject computer organization and architecture in the next semester but for this semester we will be talking at this level at the level of logic gates and a little bit of transistor circuits so i hope that clarifies at what level in this hierarchy we will be talking about in this subject and with that i would like to stop for today uh, i'll post the next video as soon as it is ready so we'll meet tomorrow thank you uh, bye